I'm not saying if you stayed in Lansing your whole life, you don't have one. This is just the inside of some people's lives that left. We made it out of Lansing. And then when we moved to Lansing, Michigan, our home was burned down again. In fact, my father was killed by the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, and despite all of that, no one was more thoroughly integrated with whites than I. We made it out of Lansing as an examination of some people that made it out of Lansing. A lot of people in Lansing say Magic Johnson abandoned Lansing. Magic didn't abandon Lansing. Lansing abandoned Magic. Shortly after going to the NBA, Magic asked the city of Lansing to change zoning laws so he could purchase the Board of Water and Light and acreage around it to build an entertainment and hotel complex. The board said no. Magic went on to build his dream in cities like Atlanta, Los Angeles, and Philadelphia. Tasha Robinson White is a former J.W. Sexton grad and an author. Don Black is a Milwaukee radio executive and was a former personality at 96.5. Jason Staten, who's also from Lansing, has been a part of the entertainment industry for 20 years plus. Kareem Washington, NCAA basketball player, and his little brother, Saadi Washington, assistant basketball coach at the University of Michigan. Lansing has bred many superstars, including Stevie Wonder. I hope that all of you know that I am fantastically, fantastically thankful. Oh, my nerves. And the winner is... Fulfilling this first finale, Stevie Wonder! This is fulfilling this first finale, Stevie Wonder! Stevie Wonder! This is my father. And this is your mother, honey. Oh, you want me to uh-huh. Ain't it a blessing? We made a lot of lessons. Come on, go, man. We made a lot of lessons. We made a lot of lessons after all that happened. Ain't it a blessing? DJ Infamous is another son of Lansing that has went on to stardom. One of the most popular DJs in North America, he is currently on air at B103 in Atlanta and Ludacris Tour DJ. DJ Infamous, straight out of Lansing. Our scope isn't just limited to entertainers. Alexa Kennedy is the first black female neurosurgeon in the United States of America. Then there's Damon Gregory, former NFL player with the Miami Dolphins, the Cleveland Browns, and the Detroit Lions, and currently the head and CEO of Gridiron Gang, a nonprofit organization that throws football camps for kids. Then there's Mike Mutes, New York City resident and former advisor to Barack Obama. Currently on air at Sway in the Morning on Shade 4-5. Then of course there's Tiger Leonard, fashion show coordinator. Sean John, Rockaware, and most of the urban lines you've ever heard of. He's based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Then of course there's me, myself, and I. Dick Black, aka Black Cafe. A filmmaker, actor, DJ, and media consultant. Al Horford, former Atlanta Hawk and NBA superstar made it out of Lansing. Then there's Kate Storm. Some of you know her as Kathy Nicodewe. She is currently an entrepreneur and business owner in Atlanta, Georgia. She owns and operates an inmate services company that specializes in inmate communications through a telephone service. There's Denzel Valentine, former J.W. Sexton graduate and currently on the roster of the Chicago Bulls. Made it out of Lansing. Ain't it a blessing? There's also Bryn Forbes, another J.W. Sexton graduate, currently playing for the San Antonio Spurs. Then there's super producer Needles, who's had platinum success with artists such as Bruno Mars, Jeremiah, and many, many more. I am a producer, a mainly hip hop producer. Um, work with a little bit of everybody on the hip hop scene. I've done stuff for 50 Cent, uh, Drake, Lil Wayne, uh, Lupe Fiasco, a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? I've done stuff for Game, I've done stuff for BT, MTV. Ain't it a blessing? We made a lot of lessons. 
Then there's Lansing Zone, DJ Peanut, on air at B103 in Atlanta, and currently Gucci Man's tour DJ. He made it out of Lansing too. There are many people that have made it out of Lansing. Professionals in the IT world, the communications world, the medical field, the educational field, and many more occupations. The one thing they all have in common is they made it out of Lansing. Last but not least, we've got Shauna Royston. Currently featured in the new Tupac movie, a model and actress based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Made it out of Lansing. Now, I'm not knocking people that stayed in Lansing, but these are the people that made it out of Lansing and didn't seem to look back. Stay tuned for the documentary as we go in depth with these people and see how and why they made it out of Lansing.